Libra, over the next 30 days, the plans you've been working on are getting ready to become real. And I am hearing the word lucrative for some of you. So there is something that your guides are going to try and tell you. Let's take a look at the sun, moon, and rising sign of Libra right now. So Libra, this is a beautiful message. Between March 20th and April 20th, we have four planets, four energy shifts. We have all of these changes coming in in a 30-day period of time. And you're going to feel going back and forth and rolling all over the place, all right? We have the full moon, the new moon. We have the solar eclipse and Mercury in retrograde. This is a doozy. And as long as you've been moving forward, this is going to be to your advantage. Because what I'm being guided to tell you is that you've been working on something, whatever the plan is, if you're planning to get married, planning to start a career, a business, or getting that big contract, or whatever it is, you have an opportunity not only to get it, but make it become implanted in the earth and become solid. That means financial security, emotional security, mental wellness, mind, body, and spirit in alignment. And we know you as Libra, you got to be in balance because if you're not in balance, you're kind of like, you go cuckoo. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like it drives you crazy. You have to have everything just so. And some of you are very, uh, m very much like that. Like you, you have to have things done in a certain way because that's what helps keep you centered. That's what helps keep you in balance. But when you have all of this stuff thrown at you, it can throw you out of whack. So you've done really well at overcoming a lot of the conflict that you have. Maybe it was to start this new plan that you were thinking of. But now that you've been working on it, you've been working on yourself and growing, it is getting ready to happen. Let's take a look at your career and projects. Projects is anything that you devote your energy and time, all your resources into outside of romance and family and friends. We're going to look at family and friends, romance, and I'll have a message for you at the end uh, from your guides. Okay. So, you know, there's this beautiful power of achievement that I'm feeling for the sign of Libra. And this achievement is what has helped you to see how to create this plan. Now, the plan could be actually getting a different resume for some of you, and it may be changing your course direction and what you do for a living. Now, remember, you got to just allow the universe to come in. you got to work with the energy flow and know that we always go in a circle, okay? The circle positive all the way to the negative and it goes around and around in a circle where we have great difficulty and that conflict keeps us on the bottom going like this. And then you get all tired and you're like, I can't do this anymore, creating conflict. And that conflict prevents us from going up into the positive. I hope that helps some of you. That may be the one message you needed to hear from your guides today. Now the card deck, oh, you got the tower. All right, when it comes to your career, when I feel some of you have had changes in your work environment. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you lost your job or your, your career is ended, although for some it could. What this is, is a shakeup in the work environment where they are making changes in, in the main organization. And this is happening a lot. Those changes have to go with the flow of what's going on in the outside world. So if you're in social media, that changed a lot over the last two years. Marketing, right? That changed a lot over the last couple of years, etc. So this is like this shakeup in your reality of what's going on. And some of you may even have feared it. Don't fear it because remember with everything that happens in our life, everything that happens, something good comes through it. You have the nine of cups. This is getting a wish. So this shakeup in your work environment is giving you this opportunity to maybe get promoted or to look for a job in a different sector in a different company, underneath the umbrella of something different in your job description. This is going to be very, very promising. Now, this is the same message if you have your own business. You guys are getting the shakeup. This new stuff is coming in that is like, whoa, okay, like me, I've been dealing with technical issues that are like, oh my gosh, 
<laughs> I can't get my videos up. They, I can record them, but only I get to listen to them. There's this positive lining that's coming in. And literally, you may have somebody just open the door. Your door may open up by itself, okay, in your home. I mean, the, the universe, the guides are going to help you open this doorway so that you can get that nine of cups. Now, the overall energy that came through in the very beginning, the first card that I pulled that I didn't show you yet is the Ten of Pentacles. This is the security that you've been looking for, feeling safe in what you're creating. This is the, the, the financial, this is the lucrative aspect of what I'm talking about, especially in career. And I feel some of you are headed for something that you did not expect. And that door is going to open up and it's like, here you go, Libra. Here you go. We've been waiting for you. Let's go. And you're going to run off and you're going to do this new endeavor. Uh, whatever it is, it is going to turn out very positive, but it may not feel like it. Remember, I said four planets. This is what those four planets is going to do. They're going to make you feel like everything is going on. You might not feel good one day, feel, you know, have some physical stuff and then mental stuff and then emotional stuff and it's like wow it can affect every aspect every element air earth fire and water okay passion love everything now for those of you who are working on projects if you're investing your in time um especially if it has to do with a ranch it looks like a beautiful ranch surrounded by a white fence kind of like where you'd see horses you know at least in the united well and you know, all over the place i've seen them everywhere um but it, it's very serene it's very calming i feel if you are working on a project and you're having some blocks you need to go somewhere like that and just be there and look at the scenery and ask the universe for guidance. They're going to show you the way. It'll help you overcome any kind of mental conflict that you've been dealing with when it comes to getting this project up and going. And I feel as you sit in this pasture or this ranch or this park that may butt up to somebody's property where that fence is there. There are horses in the background. You're going to become creative because you're very creative in what you do and i don't mean just creative in inventing things or art or anything like that it's like you're creative in helping to move things along on getting things changed you can help create this into something positive that is one of the beautiful aspects of a libra you like balance this is not balance so get balance feel centered and grounded because something is getting ready. That door opening is in any area of your life. And it's very, very positive. I just got new cards. They're flying all over the place. They're not quite broken yet. But you do have the Eight of Cups. Walking toward your Ninth Cup. You see? This is beautiful, beautiful, powerful energy that's coming in. By letting go of this. By sitting there. By getting grounded. If you haven't been meditating, Libras, and I know, um, you know, I work with all zodiac signs in private sessions, you guys need to make sure you're meditating, praying, getting clear in your head, getting right and centered inside of you, where it's equal in balance, because that is what's going to create this opportunity. And it's time to start doing this. Now, I feel for some of you, you had some restrictions in moving forward. Whether this is in a career, whether this is a project, there were restrictions there. But those restrictions through all of this change are going to open this new pathway. But for a lot of you, it isn't what you expected. It isn't necessarily what you planned. However, ultimately, it's going to lead to this. This is a great opportunity. This is a moment in time in this situation where you're going to get the funding that you need. Somebody's going to come in at the last minute and say, you know, we love your idea. We're going to do this. And that's what I mean. When you are sitting there, it's not just the creativity of art and expression. It is the creativity of how to make this happen. And you're going to be guided along the way. So allow yourself to work with this universal flow. Okay. Now, those of you, we're going to look at family and friends because I feel some of you, this is your family and friends that are creating some of the conflict that you've been dealing with. I feel for a group of you, you've been dealing with somebody for 
5-7 is what I'm seeing. I feel it's 5-7 years. And of course, that can be different for all of you. But whoever this person is that you're dealing with, this individual um, has thrown you out of balance. Look, you have a partnership right here. You, them, and the the unit. This is the unit. This is the the balance that you had inside of that relationship. However, the two of pentacles came out afterward. And that's what I'm talking about. This it, They created this torn I'm torn I don't know I don't know which side to pick so you probably didn't pick either <laughs> you probably went off on your own and said hey, I'm gonna go be on my own and hide away hoping that the answer comes and one day poof, everything is there well that's kind of what it's gonna feel like but you got a little tear down as far as this relationship has uh has to go because I feel like something is getting ready to make a big switcheroo if you didn't trust this person, if you didn't see things clearly, something's going to come through where you're going to see it clearly. There's an answer going to be ex shown to you, revealed to you through both the full moon and the new moon and the solar eclipse, right? There is going to be in that Mercury in retrograde, it's going to bring it right back around. There was something you didn't see and that is what may have been blocking you. It may have ended the relationship. You may have walked away from it. That's what I mean. It's like, I, I'm, I'm not doing this. But I feel there was some sense of manipulation around there. Remember, you do have the five of swords here. You also have that five of, of wands energy. Just the conflict of, of another person. But again, I feel it was instilled by somebody else. Not necessarily by the person that came in. And that's part of the shakeup that you're going to see. Now, the beautiful part is the sun card. This is nurturing it back to health. This is creating a new relationship with that person that you thought was actually in the wrong. I'm going to use that word for lack of a better word. Um, they're saying in the negative is what I heard. That's what your guide said, in the negative. But there wasn't. So the solar eclipse, the planets that are shifting, this card is talking about what's coming. And it is going to be feeling like you're floating and moving around, but yet it's going to be brilliant. And it's going to feel like you are finally coming to a place of agreement. This is a transformation for those of you in this type of a situation where you didn't see eye to eye with this person. Again, there was somebody heavily influencing this to create that friction between the two of you. And you may have trusted the wrong person and not seen what the other person was doing. And you're like, I'm out of here. I don't want to do this. But there's something good going to be uh, coming from it. New, new, okay, the ending of one relationship and creating a better one. And I feel um, you guys are starting new soul families, new relationships, new friendships. And these new friendships, I feel all but one are brand new people. But I do see one person is somebody that you love, somebody that you may have been separated from. But now it's going to change things. The dynamics are going to change. So this may be a romantic situation that we're looking at, Libra. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. And then I'll give you the final guided message at the end. But there's something magical that's going to happen in Libra's life. And again, it's not going to feel like it. I mean, you have to wait until the whole thing's done. You may see it. You may be lucky and see it sooner. Whatever you've been doing, whatever area, whatever part of your journey you are on, you're going to have something feel like the door was just open for you. An aha moment. A lot of analyzing, okay, when it comes to your relationships. Have you been picking the same type of people? Have you been drawing in the same type of situation with your current partner? For a lot of you, I feel it is. And it's like, do I stay or do I go? Well, you're going to, you're going to like, mm, okay, if I can't handle this, I'm leaving. But the positive thing is this comes after the five of swords energy. Remember the five of swords came out, right? That five of swords is inner conflict, this fighting with people, one-upmanship. That's a lot of negativity where you're like, I am so letting go of this. And I feel a lot of you, after evaluating this, that's what's going to put balance back into your life. And you may have to actually leave this individual. However, through this change that's going on, 
you reemerge. Okay, the real you pops back out. And Libras can be super fun, super funny. You guys have a great personality when you're in balance. You're just so amazing to be around. And people love you. They're drawn to you. And you already know that. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. But when you're not in balance, that's when things go awry. And that's what I feel you've been dealing with. But this change is very, very powerful. We have the King of Wands right here. So when it comes to romance, if you're walking away towards somebody, you are literally going to move into a different relationship that is filled with excitement, that is filled with sensuality and passion. And I'm not just talking about physical passion. I'm talking about mental, emotional, being connected to the world, traveling and adventure. Excitement is going to come back into your life. So that's what you've been wanting and that's what you've been creating. So this plan is actually going to work in your favor. If you are single, you're getting ready to let go of all of that stuff you've been dealing with, especially if you've been dealing with the wrong kind of people. Because they just kind of, and if you're an empath, oh my God, they just kind of like, oh, it's like a fly going and it doesn't leave you alone. And they just come in and they cling to you. And that is getting ready to end. Okay, you're, you've finally seen that. And if you haven't, you're about to. All right, let's take a look at the final message because it's it's just going to be a very positive, very powerful time for the leaders who want it to be. If you truly want this to happen, you got two cards, two guided message cards. If you truly want this to happen, it is going to happen and it is going to create this new you, this new life, this new energy vibration. You have the star card. This could be dealing with an Aquarius. You have multiple different zodiac signs on the board. Actually, there are, there are not as many people on the board as I thought. <laughs> uh, whoever this person is, who whatever the situation is that you're dealing with, the plans that you're making, the wish that you've been asking for this entire time, I wish I could relocate. I wish I could find the right person. I wish I could. That is going to be given from the universe. This is a universal blessing coming your way. This is something that is not only going to make you feel good, it is going to bring prosperity. That's what I mean when I say lucrative. Lucrative in a multitude of different ways, financially, stable, emotionally, wellness is going to be a priority. Fitness is important for the sign of Libra during this time frame. So if you've been putting off getting out there, always check with your doctor. I'm not a doctor. I'm not doing a reading for you. This is general. But make sure to get out there. Even if it's just walking, get out there. Do some swimming. Do some exercise. Do some yoga. And as I said in the beginning, meditation is key during this period. So Libras, I hope this reading helped you. Please thumbs up this video and much love.